Uh, this video is going to focus on student uh, examples and what they did well and what they can improve on. Uh, before we start, I'm going to go over the rubric. So again, you're going to get uh, a score for uh, focus and organization, evidence and elaboration, and then conventions. The highest score you can get for focus and organization is going to be a four. Evidence and elaboration is going to be another four. And then the highest for convention is going to be a two. Again, conventions are uh, if you do the commas, punctuation, you know, grammar. So for a total of 10. Okay. Um, so if you look at the rubric, a three and a four, that's going to be a two. If you end up in those, you'll be there. If you are here, you'll get a one. And then if you're at the bottom, you'll get a zero. Okay. Um, so today we're going to be looking at student examples of of their work from uh, Friday. Uh, you should not be watching this video unless you watch the one from Friday. There's a lot of students, especially at UCLA, that are not done with it. Now I know your essay is not done, but I'm going to just grade what you have, and I'll let you know how what you will get uh, if this was you know if I was grading it. Um, Let's look at student A. So the first thing you should have is going to be your hook, right? The hook is what engages the reader. The hook is what brings the reader in. After the hook, you're going to have the overview. The overview is going to be the information, the background information that you're going to provide the reader. And then you have your thesis statements. Uh, remember, this is not an argumentative essay, so your opinion should not be in here. Uh, this person said for their hook. Smoking is a very unhealthy lifestyle for the 1 billion people who smoke, which is one eighth of the population. Um, so this hook is already a little, little problematic because you're taking a side already. Okay. Um, you are informing the reader. You're going to inform the reader that it's unhealthy. So instead you can say something like um, how how uh, smoking impacts the health of people and the reader will decide if it's unhealthy or not when you decide to sh tell them that it's unhealthy you're taking a side so you shouldn't do that this uh in general this hook is really it's kind of it's it's weak because it's an opinion and it's also confusing um smoking is a, it's a very healthy lot unhealthy lifestyle for the one billion people who smoke which is one point uh, one eighth of the population, the world population, uh, the population in the United States. It's on. Un, un, I'm unsure uh, what that person means by that. So that hook wouldn't um, really want me to read more, but I will. Smokers are usually expected to live up to 65 years. Uh, there's issues with grammar here. Smokers are usually expected to live up to 65 years, comma. Non-smoker or period. Non-smokers are expected to live up to 85 years. So this person is telling us that smokers tend to live less than non-smokers. 10 to 20 percent of non-smokers of non-smokers will have lung cancer. I don't understand how this is relevant. I, I, I'm, just, I'm really confused by that. Smoking can cause people to have lung cancer. It can also have heart disease and smoking can also cause airways to get smaller. So this thesis is pretty good, actually, right? So this person's going to teach us about, or you know, uh, inform us about how smoking causes heart disease, how smoking can cause lung cancer, and how it can cause airways to get smaller. So if I was giving this a grade, um, just the just the first paragraph, I would probably give it a a two out of four. Because the hook is, is confusing and, and it's an opinion. The biggest issue I have is, well, not the biggest issue. The, the, big, the biggest issue I have is the, 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 the overview. I, I'm really confused by this. This person could have talked about how many people smoke in the world. Um, how do people smoke? What do they smoke? Who are the big corporations that are pushing for smoking? Right? There's a lot that this person could have talked about. I think the issue is that this person uh, didn't have really good sources, so they didn't really they didn't really understand what the sources were. Um, 
Okay, so then they jump into their first paragraph. And remember, you're going to have to have five paragraphs. Smoking causes people to have lung cancer. Okay. That's, that's, that's a good topic sentence because they talked about it. Uh, they talked about it here. According to the Mayo Clinic, is according to the Mayo Clinic it states not the Mayo may, I think it's Mayo or Mayo I don't know what it is. Um, when you cite the Mayo Clinic, you're citing the Mayo Clinic is not a person, right? It, it's 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 a building, it's a corporation, it's a company. So you could have said according to the study done by the Mayo Clinic, it states. Doctors believe smoking causes lung cancer by damaging the cells that line the lungs. When you inhale cigarette smoke, which is full of ca cancer-causing substances. So, <clears throat> the, this evidence is, is not the best. Because this evidence is mainly focusing on damaging the cells that line the lungs. Uh, I, I, it's not the best evidence. This proves that smoking results in lung cancer because when you smoke, you inhale a lot of chemicals, these cells... These cells in the chemicals are full of cancer-causing substances. These cells will attack the smoker cells that line the lungs. Um, this explanation is, is just summarizing the evidence. Uh, this explanation is just repeating the evidence, and it doesn't work. Uh, if I was giving this, if this student had, you know, three more paragraphs of this, of, uh, of, of, if, he had, if, if this person had, um, so this is paragraph one, they had another paragraph two, three, actually this is paragraph two, three, four, and five. Um, for their thesis statements and their structure of their, um, of their essay, they will probably get, it'll probably be a two. For their evidence, it'll be a two. And their grammar and punctuation will be a one. So this person will be looking at a five, um, which is non-passing, because there's a couple things that are problematic, right? Uh, the hook is weak. The con, you know, there, there's not much of an overview. Their evidence is it's it's not the best evidence, and their explanation is non-existent, uh, and they have issues with some punctuation and grammar, which makes it hard to to read. Let's look at um, paragraph. Let's look at student sample uh, B. Sleeping is important to your health. Um, think about this hook. Um, I guess hooks can be opinions, but avoid them when you're doing an informational essay, uh, because your point the point is to inform them of something, not convince them of something. So I'm not a fan of this hook. Just FYI. Imagine that an alarm clock wakes you up. I'm not sure what the hook is. Is it this first sentence or the second sentence? Imagine that an alarm clock wakes you up. You know you have to go to school, but you stay up all night playing video games. This causes your body to get less sleep than the amount you're supposed to. Once you shut off your alarm clock, you start falling asleep, back asleep, skipping a day of school. Uh, I, I'm guessing, so I'm guessing this is the... This is paragraph one, but I don't really see a thesis statement here, right? I, I really don't see a thesis statement. I see it. I think this is their thesis statement, but that's more like an opinion, right? Instead, their thesis statement could be something like, uh, here it is. That's their thesis statement. Getting enough sleep can, uh, can energize a living being. It can also improve mood. That's their thesis statement. That should be in the first paragraph. I hope that makes sense. Um, also, there's not... It looks like this whole thing is a hook. It looks like this whole thing is a hook. And then they don't have any overview or context. What is sleep? Right? How, many, how many hours of sleep do people usually get? How, many, how, do, how is that different from for different people of, of different ages? So there, there are... Thesis statement is in the second paragraph, and the second paragraph should be your uh, reason, evidence, explanation. Um, and here you have your, your thesis. Getting enough sleep can energize a living being, and it can also improve mood. Studies have shown that people who don't sleep enough often wake up feeling irritated or angry. It is also crucial that a person get enough sleep. 
Without sleep, a person risks type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, obesity, and depression. Uh, and then I don't see... So for the first issue is I don't understand what the study is. They talk about a study. Um, it's here somewhere, yeah. Uh, studies have shown, so I don't know what studies they're talking about. Like you need an actual source. So it, sound, it looks like this is their evidence here, but I don't see an explanation. Sleeping is important because it can improve emotion. Um, so, so again, be, be careful with this because here it looks like you're trying to convince the reader of something. So instead, you can say sleeping can improve emotion, body, healthy, and enhanced brain functions. Don't say it is important because you're automatically taken aside. Now, I don't see an explanation here at all. Uh, oh, here it is. Here's another paragraph. Sleeping can improve emotion. Uh, so I didn't see any explanation here. So that's an issue. Sleeping can improve emotion. Science Daily states. So good. Good job with their source. And states in the article how sleep helps to process the emotions. So this should be capitalized because it's a title. Researchers have identified how the brain triages emotion during sleep, dream sleep to consolidate the storage of positive emotions while dampening the, consol the consolation of negative ones. I really like this evidence. This is great evidence. Now, when you have another, I don't know, understand why this person is having another paragraph here. Like, this should be the same paragraph. Like, this explanation should be part, this explanation here should be part of, of this paragraph. So, I don't know why this person is separating them that way. This evidence tells us that sleeping can improve emotion. The brain is the main reason that keeps us alive. I don't know how that's relevant. The brain also comes with emotions, good and bad ones. When someone doesn't get enough sleep, the brain starts to make the body feel aggravated, good. When someone feels aggravated, it is possible they can they can negatively affect their surroundings or others. On the other hand, when someone gets enough sleep, so this is better, better explanation. Um, I think that the issue that I'm having with this particular piece of writing is that the structure of it is it's confusing. Like their thesis statement is in the wrong spots. Um, they don't have much of an overview. Some of their evidence is uh, cited, but they talk about some studies. This one is pretty good. Okay. Let's look at one more example. So if I was grading this one, I it's hard because it's incomplete and same thing with this one. But if this student continue doing this, this student will probably get um, probably like a two, a three, and and a two. So like an eight. Um, it'll probably be a seven or eight because I'm still kind of torn about this one. It could be a two. Okay. Okay. Have you ever heard of the Big Bang theory? Well, let's talk about it. So a lot of you, I've read some of your answers and a lot of you are, are doing this very informal type of writing. We don't, we're not having a conversation with the reader. Right, we're not saying. Well, let me tell you. Uh, have you ever thought about this? Well, let's talk about. It. Like you, that's that's something you don't do. Have you ever heard of the Big Bang theory? Well, let's talk about it. So here, you can just eliminate that. All of that. Um, avoid having a hook about the topic that you're talking about. For example, if my information when I say is about Einstein, I won't say. Have you ever heard of Einstein? Or have you ever heard of E equals MC squared? If I'm writing about sleep, how much sleep is enough? I guess that's a better. I guess that's a better. Um, that's a better hook. If I'm writing about um the plague, have you ever heard of the plague? Like you're just turning the question around, and and it's it's just not the best type of hook. The Big Bang theory is a theory of how the universe began, the way the universe started, according to the Big Bang theory. There should be a period here. Uh, you see that these things add up, right? If you're missing a period here and there, it's not the end of the world. But if you are having multiple issues, you're going to go from a 2 to a 1. And, you know, if you get a 3, a 3, and a 1, that's a 7, right? If you get a 3, a 3, and a 2, that's an 8. So you go from a S plus to an S just because of those little mistakes. The way the universe started according to the Big Bang Theory, 
It started with an infinitely hot and dense single point that inflated and stretched first at an imaginable speed and then at more measurable rate. So this looks this looks plagiarized, right? Uh, because in seventh grade, we usually don't use the word infinitely, unimaginable, measurable, right? So if you are if you are using the source as if you're using a source as information for your background information, you have to write it in your own words. And it needs to be general knowledge. Like general knowledge. Like, where was Einstein born? Everybody knows he was born in Germany, right? Uh, what do you do when you sleep? You close your eyes and your brain kind of shuts down, right? This is general knowledge. Um, and then a more measurable rate in the, the next 13.7 billion years to the still expanding cosmos the way we know today. The, again, I don't know why there's no period here. Existing technology doesn't yet allow astronomers to literally peek back at the at the universe's birth. Much of what scientists understand about the Big Bang comes from the mathematical formulas and models. Astronomers can, however, see the echo of the expansion through the phenom phenomenon known as a cosmic microwave background. What the Big Bang theory is about is how the universe started according to the Big Bang as scientists came up with the Big Bang theory. So I don't see a thesis statement here, right? Uh, this, if I was grading this, this would be a zero for their, like for, for, for your first paragraph. Uh, first, the hook is weak, and then the rest of it looks like it's been copied online. Okay, so that's the issue with, with that. Um, so today you're going to continue working on your, on your essay. Now, this essay that you're working on right now, you're not going to finish it. It's practice for how to write a first paragraph and how to start developing your ideas into a full-blown essay. On Tuesday, you're going to continue practicing. So on Monday, Monday's going to be the last day when you practice this. On Tuesday, you'll get a different shot at, but you'll be working with a different topic and you're going to be doing it with a partner and you're going to be working on making sure that you have a solid good paragraph, first paragraph, and then a solid second paragraph. Because if you can do the first and second paragraph, this, the third and fourth paragraph are going to be the same as the, as the second paragraph. The last one is going to be the conclusion, um, and I'll help you guys out with that. Uh, for the break, you are going to have an essay to write for me, and I will give you the sources. So we're all going to be doing the same essay because I'm not going to have this issue where you need to find the sources and cite the sources. So instead, I'm going to give you the sources. I'll give you a hint. It's going to be on agriculture. Um, and you'll get a couple of days before the break to start working it in class so that you can clarify any issues that you may have. Okay. Um, all right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.